welcome back to the Inspired Art Vlog channel. And this is Sarah, and I have for you today a rather difficult, good, difficult to find book uh, called Manga School with Selena Lin. Um, I believe she is a mangaka, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've read this book, uh, but it's a very informative book. Um, published by Tokyo Pop, which I believe is not in business anymore. Um, but if you can find this book, I thought it was a fairly informative book. And um, here's the back if you want to read it. And, uh, let's inside so we start off with the table of contents and that is, that is broken down into lessons so it's broken down into five lessons and then she also has a gallery of artwork and she talks about the various tools she uses and the techniques and shows how to do them. And I think her art is just very cute and I really I really like it. It's very different from mine, but that's okay. I really like it a lot. So here's the um she starts off with like a story of like a day in the life of a mangaka. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Then we finally get into lesson one, which she talks about the different drawing tools that she uses. And she does have a lot of pictures of examples, which is really great. And I think she does talk about some brands that she uses, but I mean, they're, you know, they're, uh, of course, suggestions and stuff. But um, she does suggest a lot of quality brands and different things. And I'm familiar with the leader. Uh, I have a few the leader things. I don't have any of this one. I haven't tried that one, so I don't know anything about them. Um, there's also the brand that makes the Copic markers, also makes other manga tools as well. I know them. And I really like how she shows how to use dip pens. That's something that is very important. She chose about the parts of the manga paper and even how to make your own because it is kind of expensive and a little bit difficult for those of us who don't live in Japan to get it. She also talks about screen tone. And then here's her getting into her drawing techniques. Storyboarding, character development, and this is an intro book so of course you're gonna have some other books that talk about other things. Paneling, which is something particular to manga and uh, comic books. She shows drafting. She shows how to do the finished work. And this is about screen tones. So they're kind of like little sheets of sort of contact paper kind of stuff.
but she shows uh, computer graphics type manga. And that's an unexpected splash of color after seeing all this black and white. <laughs> Here's our gallery of artwork, some of it. Oh, this looks like that. Um, what do you say? Card wrapper Sakura or something? Not sure if she drew that manga, I don't think she did, but it kind of reminds me of that. I don't really know anything about it, but I've seen the artwork around, which is really interesting. Oh, this one going on and it's like lots of people. I love the colors. This reminds me of uh, Chinese and Japanese paintings. These are some other books published by the company. I don't have any of those yet, but I don't know if that is even available still. But if it is, here's the credits. Thank you for watching.